Same for Ross. You've had to extend the release date. Mm. It, was there? I mean, did that help as far as like? Well, it wasn't. It wasn't a done book. It wasn't finished. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't wasn't ready. So, but I know when a book's ready because I feel it here. And it straight up was not as good as it could have been, or didn't even make sense. It was okay. all a mishmash. It was 1,200 pages, and I got it down to 800. So wow. Yeah. So it's you know it straight up just couldn't have released it. it. Wouldn't have made sense to anyone. It's just <laughs> you know it's like a big big tide balls balls of yarn together. You know. Just needed a little bit more refining. Yeah. Yeah. So. But Random House is good enough to make me know. That that. Push it through, even though it wasn't ready. So. Yeah, and and we appreciate. It. I mean, as much as we hate waiting, sure, you know. Trust me, it was worth the wait. <laughs> exactly. Comparatively, compared to what you would have been looking at. Exactly. <laughs> true. True. And we want the best from you. No, we, I, hopefully, you expect nothing less. <laughs> okay, so we are Comic Con. What? Um, and I mean, you've been to cons, you've been yeah. to book events and stuff like that. You've seen a lot of cosplayers. Yeah, this is my fifth one here in right? San Diego. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Holy crap! Five. How many have you been here? Since 2006. Wow, so you're batting 13. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Or is it 96? No. Oh. 96? 2006 or 96? You can't tell. I can't even tell anymore. Well, it's either it's... 16 or 26. <laughs> it's been yeah. it's been a mishmash. I'll tell you that. Oh, uh, maybe it's been. I, I swear it's been over 15 years. You're the veteran. You're the veteran. <laughs> I'm coming to my own. I'm a journeyman at this point. Yeah. You know, we got some neophytes around here somewhere, some novices, some dirty Over. novices. Very, you know? very, very, very what much. Your, what was your favorites uh, as far as cosplayers, like you have your oh, characters? Gosh. Oh, of my characters? Yeah. Uh, well, my favorite cosplayer I've seen here was a dope silver surfer, which is not one of my characters. <laughs> um, even though I wish you were. You right? I would say favorite ones is a pack of howlers I saw at Fe no, Denver Comic Con. Uh, I think I this, saw that. Yeah, there was this unholy racket when I was signing. I'm like, God, these people, people are so mature here. And then they come up and they're like, all wearing wolf cloaks and power armor. And I'm like, oh shit, those are my people. <laughs> what if, what if I people. unleashed on the world? <laughs> the Pandora's box and how there's Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I think that the people who get cosplayed the most are the Howlers. Then Sethi, obviously, oddly gets cosplayed really? quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Quite a bit of Victor, too. A lot of girls shave the sides of their head for it. It's pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. Uh, basically, you wrote a short story, Star Wars. Oh yeah, yeah. On Biggs Dart Lighter. Ah, one of my favorite old Biggs. Poor yeah. Biggs. Ill, Ill fated best friend Biggs. I know. I'm like, yeah. what made you decide that you wanted to write about Biggs? Uh, they asked me. Uh, they, they, you know, they gave me the list of characters, and I immediately say Biggs because, you know. Biggs was the cool upper classman. He was the senior, you know. Luke yeah. was the freshman. Yeah, and yeah, then, very much. Then, you know, I saw. I just loved that. And when I saw it, I was a kid. You know, Biggs seemed cool. <laughs> Luke was like our person, you know, our hero. But then when he when he looked up at Biggs, I was like, Biggs must be a pretty cool guy, and he's got a great <laughs> mustache. Yeah, that's true. He did. I mean, hell, that thing could have destroyed the Death Star on its own. Oh my gosh, that was you know, well, that was the '70s. So I gotta say, that was a very popular thing. I know. If you had a chance to write another write on another character in the Star Wars world, who would you write? Oh man, I would. I'd want to do like a real operatic Homerian epic on Darth Vader. <laughs> really? Like, I would really love to just dive into that because <laughs> I mean, there's so much emotion. I feel so much we haven't seen from his rule. You know, okay. like 16 or 15 years yeah. ago with the right hand yeah. of Palpatine. And I was a big fan of, like, Splinter in the Mind's Eye. Oh. And the Star Wars Extended Universe stuff. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I read all that. Nice. So it would be fun to be able to draw on that. But, you know, it's not canon anymore. So no. grumpy ass me over here. I, I, hey, I hear you. <laughs> I'm there with you. We walk a lonely road. <laughs> I'm there with you. I mean, yeah. Timothy Zahn is one of my uh, favorites. Zahn, Zahn's, like... a, Zahn's the guy. Yeah. Like Zahn, for me, it's always Lucas and Zahn. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's why I'm like, I even asked him, like, when are you going to write Mara Jade? And can't even do that. Is she, does she even exist anymore? No. No. But not, then, but then, not in this. Well, see, this is the thing. This is the thing I don't like. Thrawn exists. Yeah. And Mara Jade doesn't exist. And I'm exactly, just like, right? Y'all don't have a plan, do you? I'm so, sorry. No. Y'all no, don't have a plan. Yeah, no. I get, I get it. I get it. I hear you. I mean, off of Star Wars still, oh, lightsaber or the Millennium Falcon? What do you mean? Which one I want? 
Millennium Falcon. <laughs> oh yeah, I want to do the Kessel Run. Right? Yeah. In 12 parsecs? Yeah, lightsabers are great, but it, within, a, less within, a, within a day, I'd cut my head off. <laughs> like, look, like, like for the first time Luke looks at it, he looks Agreed. down, the most dangerous weapon in the world. And like, Obi-Wan's just, just watching him, like, looking down the like, hilt better. Like, Obi-Wan says nothing. He's like staring down certain death. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, imagine, imagine Luke's like, oh, <sighs> Right done. through. Done. There goes your one. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Then, then it's just a story about Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> so you do a lot of outdoorsy stuff. Mm. You post about it on Instagram mm. and stuff like that. Does that help as far as like writing your stories? Mm. And no, it helps or... keep me sane. Okay. It helps I was like, me... is it a mental thing? No, I just think this society we've constructed around us helps us not do many human things. I think you do human things. True. Just you know, human things. That's it. It's like all the hobbies I have. It's basically me forcing myself to get off my ass and go do a human thing. True. Yeah, True. hike, hiking, trying to fix a door jam. <laughs> <laughs> human stuff, you know? <laughs> like interacting with your dogs, too? Yeah, well, oh, oddly enough, yeah. uh, oddly enough, Red Rising was kind of uh, incep incepted. Uh, yeah, the inception of Red Rising okay. was on a mountainside. Uh, yeah, because I was reading uh, some Greek plays at the time uh, and taking oh, me particularly. Okay. And then we were climbing up this place called Dragon... Dragon Asgard Pass, yeah, and then Dragon Asgard Pass, Asgard Pass up in the Olympic Mountain Range, or not the Cascade Mountain Range, oh, okay. uh, outside of Washington area, and so there's this place called Dragon Tail Peak uh, we were climbing to. So it's like you know, early morning, you, you hike in at night, get there early morning at 5 a.m. to start your ascent, uh, and then you use crampons and are all you know roped together. So we're yeah. going up, going up, and it's exhausting and stars are still out and all I'm thinking is I got I wish I was on Mars because this is way too heavy <laughs> I'm way too heavy I just want less gravity that's all I was literally right. thinking and I was like huh and they all started coming together it literally is just me wanting to be lazy yeah <laughs> so don't we all I like I also run uh, Red Rising Wiki. Mm. Oh, you run it? I, yeah. Oh, badass. I've actually used it as a resource quite a bit lately. <laughs> well, it, we're a little behind on some stuff. You are, but it's, <laughs> but but fortunately you helped me a bit with this. Oh, really? Like, I nice. I, I literally would have it open sometimes when I was uh, oh my uh, gosh. Uh, going going back and editing. And now I have sure to keep track, make sure everything's... I mean, well, I, mean, I, I got I, some I, help. What I need to do so. is force feed fans to you. Yeah. Uh, and readers to help you out. because. And then you got to give us some stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Stuff? I don't know. Any, I mean, uh, I was gonna say, if you had any stuff uh, to give us, uh, that would... no. The problem is there's spoilers and everything. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, we just have to get it from the from books. the books. You yeah, read, that's a problem. You, yeah, you right. <laughs> One of these days, I'll type it all out and like what's, right? what's what, and you know, we'll maybe even do a World of Red Rising book. But until then, you're the best resource. Uh, nice. Well, thank you, and uh, I, mean, I appreciate it. I mean, like, I was gonna say, like stuff like. The sigils for the houses. Do you have like plans on, or do you have uh, images of those and stuff? Uh, I do, but not done by Joel, so they're pretty poor. Oh, so, okay, yeah. okay. So it's stuff like that. You know, yeah. It's, it's not uh, pretty, pretty careful with what I release in terms of what's canon and what's not canon. True. Um, and so I don't want to violate that by giving you stuff that's not in the books. Like people ask me, what about this character? Like, uh, is well, they ask me about character or sexuality or something. I'm saying it's not in the books. I don't really feel like it's my place to tell you what their sexuality is because I either show it or I don't. You yeah. Know, or you know, it's or whether or it's, it's not, relevant into or if it's story. relevant or not. Yeah. Exactly. And I just you know that Dumbledore thing stuff kind of struck me the wrong way. Yeah. Because I'm like, all right, fine, we'll put it in the book. <laughs> don't don't revise. You know, because I think that I have you know a long time to write these books and. You put a lot of care into what goes in it, what words go in it, and then for me to almost like recorrect it on the side is yeah. really super weird. That's why I don't want to give too much stuff that's not in the books until they're done. Because I'm still, I always figure stuff out like in the third draft, things fourth change. draft, exactly. So. And, and the last thing I want is people to say that's not canon. I'm like, I know, I messed up. I mean, I'm sure you do like a little bit of pantsing as well as like I, I do only lighting. pantsing. Oh, really? Only pantsing. Really? I mean, occasionally I'll have like bouts of like several days where I'll just like you know write uh, write all my notes down on the starships and stuff okay. like that. So I have all that stuff. Uh -huh. But like, and for family trees and things. But it's mostly pantsing for plot because whenever I plot anything out, it ends up feeling insincere and then I scrap it. Oh. So I have to I have to be pantser. Yeah, <laughs> I've always been. Like I didn't know how a morning star was gonna end. I had no idea. I had no idea. Are you serious? None. What's your favorite scene in Morning Star? 
Trig T fuck Nakamura saying, uh, Ari sends his regards, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Such a badass. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much, oh, Pierce. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Say hi to the fandom people. Howlers, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Dark Age. I hope we didn't ruin anything. And I hope you, I didn't disillusion you to the books with my yammering. <laughs> also, help out on the Wikipedia page, the Wiki page, Red Rising Wiki. Awesome. Thanks.